have to have cucumbers to make pickles. Zucchini makes amazing pickles. Let's use this giant zucchini to make some bread and butter pickles with. I never wash them until right before I'm gonna use them. I'm just gonna cut off the ends and use the mandolin to slice it into nice thin slices. I'm making a double recipe, so I need 20 cups. Okay, there's 16 cups, four more. Okay, we're about four cups there, maybe a little bit more. Add it to the rest. And I'm gonna need eight cups of onion. Look at this poor little guy pulled out. He was, the tops were all eaten off by the slugs, so he didn't get very big, but it's okay. For the onion, I like to just slice it like this and then cut it in half. All right, we're gonna add eight cups of onion to the I'm gonna be adding a cup of kosher salt or canning salt. You don't wanna use iodized salt or regular table salt because there's things added to it. So I'm using kosher salt. It's really hard to find canning salt around here. So the, kosher's, the kosher will work just fine. It's a little bit coarser, so it doesn't dissolve quite as quickly. That's the main difference. Now this salt is gonna pull out the extra liquid. You can use zucchini for pretty much any of your pickling recipes that you would use cucumbers in. So keep that in mind if you don't, if you have a crop fail of cucumbers, zucchini grows so much better for me than cucumbers. I just, the last few years, I've really had a struggle with cucumbers doing anything. Um, I think it's just because it's not been as warm as they like for the most part, but they're getting diseased too. So could be my soil, probably my soil makes a big impact on it. Okay, then I just covered it and I'm gonna let it sit for at least two hours to draw that water out. I'll let it sit right next to the relish. And, all right, the bread and butter zucchini pickles have been sitting overnight. So I need to drain them and rinse them with water. Using cold water. Put this in the, once they're rinsed, I'm gonna put them in another colander to keep draining. Kind of squeeze them, trying to get all the extra water. Butter, one of my favorite pickles, but I, I might be the only one in this family eating these. Most of my family like dill pickle. My dad likes the sweeter. I like both. These remind me of my grandpa, he used to like them. I have a tiny bit of brine left from the relish that I made. I'm just gonna add to it. It'll be fine. I need three cups of vinegar. And if I hadn't just made the relish, I would, you know, start fresh, but I'm just gonna not waste it. Two cups of sugar. It's gonna need to dissolve. I guess I should turn the burner on. Two tablespoons of mustard seed. And sorry seed. One teaspoon of turmeric. I'm just gonna stir that around. I want the sugar to dissolve, which it looks like it pretty much is. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. Wipe this up. I could add all of this to the brine and heat it up. I'm just gonna actually put these directly into the jar and then add the brine on top. I'm gonna leave a half inch. I like to fill it right to the edge of the brine. Add the brine now. I kind of keep an eye on the jar down here because I don't want to overfill it. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I overfill it, but it's hot. I don't like to touch the hot jars. All right, so I filled right up to the edge here. out of brine. Should I get all the bubbles out? Still have that many pickles left, so I'm gonna have to make another batch. Okay, right, got the lids on. Time to load up the canner. All right, once that comes to a boil, I will set the timer for 15 minutes, and then they should be ready to go. 
All right, I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, they are ready to go. I love the look of it. Looking for other ways to use zucchini? Check out this playlist.